Sagittarius. Yeah, it's the end of the day. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get to you yesterday. I ran out of time. So my husband is here to make ridiculous, like, cheer noises, if ever so needed. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do Thunderdome for you guys today. So there's going to be two readings. There's going to be a group one and a group two. And this goes for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. If it does, cool beans. Well, probably not unless something bad, really bad comes up. But hopefully it doesn't happen. Also, if you want a personal reading, my PayPal, or not my PayPal, my email's in the description below. Just hit me up there. Let me know about yourself, but not too much, because that'd be weird. Anyway, so group one, we're going to start with you. My hands are too small to shuffle anything. Okay, you can be first then. Getting over heartbreak with the Three of Swords. You're trying to communicate it. You're trying to think about it. You're trying to do whatever you can to get over it. Or maybe you're already over it. Be a good start. Let's see. We have Nine of Swords reverse theft. So, yuppers. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands, in this situation, wants and wishes, fears and rejections. And this one's going to be the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Queen of Wands reversed. So you could be your own worst enemy. That's always fun. The Fool or the Sacred Clown reversed in the Catalyst as well as the final result. And the beginning theme is Death reversed. This could be a Scorpio. Or this just could be the situation where someone refuses to change, or things don't change. Everything is just staying the same. Right? Right. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Lots of stuff on your brain, I think. Yeah. Definitely about possibly what connection you have with somebody else. Possibly a lover. Maybe a Gemini. Or you're just with somebody who possibly makes you feel good about yourself. Makes you feel like you're in your reality. Hey, Kit Kits. What you do there, Kit Kits? Oh, Kit Kits. Where'd you go? Oh. Of course you're going to play with your food. While I'm doing this. Okay. Alright, so a three of swords trying to get over a heartbreak. Trying to mend it. But the situation below is kind of like, mmm. What's the three of swords all about? I'll tell you one thing. Yesterday I was so wired from coffee, I don't know what was happening. Um, yeah, you're going to get over this heartbreak to have a brand new start. You're determined. You're like, you're not going to let this, you're not going to let this heartbreak stop you. Group one, you are going to use it to repel yourself to wherever it is you need to go to get this Ace of Wands started. That's always a good start, I think. Then we got the Seven of Wands reverse, which is like you're giving up on something. Or you're not trying to fend off or you defend yourself against whoever's coming against you. Because there's this because this person already feels like a victor. It's either you or the person you're dealing with, but Sagittarius, um, you are no longer well, not Sagittarius group one, I'm sorry. But either Do you feel as neat though you don't need to fight off? anything or defend yourself because you already have a victory or you're dealing with somebody who is not who's not going to defend themselves because they're already a victor um they find the reward of not fighting of more value than it is trying to win a battle you know it's like if they don't fight then they win you know 
I'm not stressed in playing your game. I'm going on my own. Kind of like that thing, right? I wish my chair was bigger so I could have my legs crossed, even though it's horrible for me at my old age. <laughs> Nine of Swords reversed. Which is the wants and wishes. It's like, okay. There's a lot of stuff that you're causing. It's like you're causing your own kind of problem, right? Usually when cards are reversed like this, um, the top usually influences the bottom because as above, so below, that kind of rule, right? And it's like you're kind of feeding the monster that's giving you nightmares a little bit. Or this person is that you're dealing with, whoever this person is, group one. Let's see. I kind of still want more coffee. <laughs> Probably get some later. What is this Nine of Swords all about? I don't think I had the volume too high yesterday. Maybe that's why I seemed so, like, hyperactive or some shit. Never figure it out, though. Uh. Oh! That was bunches. Um. Y it's bothering you because... You're not waiting? Like, I think something's stuck in your head. Probably the Three of Swords, right? And you're kind of... I think you kind of realize that you're feeding into it, Group 1. And I think you want to cause an end to this. Like, your mind keeps going back to it. And you just want it to stop. It's kind of like, that's how you're plagued. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's really not many options that differentiate um, the past from the future right here. And there's really not anything that can be decided or resurrected that's going to bring any more happiness. <laughs> and it's just becoming a burden just hanging around when you really shouldn't be. Or where you should be letting go, but you're not. So that could be a scenario for some of y'all. Then we've got, we, we got down below. You see obstacles and challenges. What goes against you? Queen of Wands reversed. She's not a very happy lady. She's, like, it could be you, Sagittarius. Because, like, I always figure Queen of Wands is Sagittarius. Sagittarius has this really horrible a a habit of, like, just... Losing their shit and then coming off as like a three-year-old, but I can't like say anything because it's like, you know, Sagittarius rising, so I probably do the same thing. But it's like when you guys are heated, it's like you want what you want and you want it now and you literally go off. Like my brother was like that for the longest time. And she's definitely standing there um, demanding someone approach her and give her what she wants, which is like, I don't know. Um, and what she wants is just to be left alone. <laughs> she just wants to be left alone. She does not want to be bothered. Like, I think it's one of the scenarios where it's like, if you love something, let it go. Because if you don't, it's going to just bite your head off every fucking time. I think that's the saying. That's how it goes with the scenario. She might just bite your head off. Like, she's not exactly the friendliest right now. She's in total, like, angered lady mood. And we got the Ten of Wands and the Fierce of Rejections, right? Where it's, like, just lugging around a burden, will not let it go. Just keep dragging it, right? And we have... <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, Nine of Swords again, but it's upright this time, where it's really plaguing you. Where you're losing sleep from it as well. Like, you want it to end because it's that much of a fucking burden. And the Ten of Wands has already sprung up once before. So we know that already. Then we have the Fool, or the Savior Clown Reverse. Lots of hesitation, lots of lack of faith. What is springing up on my phone as if it is important? Nothing, thank you. <laughs> it's like okay you're really not trying to um go with a leap of faith I think you're kind of like 
I feel like you don't want to take a leap of faith because, like, you don't have enough information. Or you don't know how to start making it past all these bear traps and all this other stuff this Queen of Wands has left in order to scold you for getting into the trap she laid to trap you with in the first place. Like, you know, she like, it, like if you come near her, she wants to fuck you up. If you leave her alone, she's just fine, though. And it's like, no matter how you step, you don't know how to go around these bear traps. So you're just kind of like, ah. I'm just gonna stay in my own little thing. Like, you're trying to think about it. <laughs> like, you're trying to hesitate on going through the bear trap maze because you know that there is a bear trap maze. You just don't know where she put it at. And that's why you don't want to move forward. It's just kind of like, what is going to set this bitch off this time? I don't know. And it might be a little bit nerve-wracking for you. Yeah, it's like this person, like... It, 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 it's possible like this person I'm reading for, it, it's like... They see this whole situation as if, if they don't play, you know, the game, they'll be the victor. Right? But the problem is that... <laughs> the problem is, it's like, the game is literally, like, leave her alone. And it's like, you're... But it's like, you, you aren't able to do that. Which is weird. But it's whatever. Let's see what the ending theme is. Oh, okay. Actually, two cards just came up. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Normally, traditionally, Capricorn could also be a Virgo or Taurus, and the Eight of Cups reverse. Um. Essentially, it's like, this Queen of Pentacles is good on her own, and she will walk away to make herself happy. And she's a stabilizer, a provider. She is every man's dream in essence. Anybody would find her as a catch, you know, because Queen of Pentacles, she's the senior, the most mature, um, usually the most feminine of all the court cards. And... This is like, this is walking away to great joy, like not even care that you leave it the cup, right? And it's like, that's what she's planning on doing, um, because she's, because there's no change in behavior or something. Like, something didn't change. Like, she stepped because things weren't changing around and shit. Or that's what she wants to do, because things haven't changed yet. And now it's just bugging somebody's head. That's kind of weird, but whatever. It's your reading, right? Right. Let's see what the three advice cards are for y'all. Or does someone feel like they need to walk away from this Queen of Pentacles because, like, they feel like you're, nothing's gonna change, and that their brain is plagued? This person who is a pretty much a person who makes a home, who provides you. Is happy with her own solitude and really doesn't need anybody around, but the want for people is there. Like, she's lonely. She's by herself, with the exception of the bunny, but she loves company. But like most earth signs, she probably gets easily annoyed. <laughs> oh yeah, someone's just ready to sneak away to get this new start going, group one. Like, yeah. I feel like that's what you're gonna do. I feel like you want to just be sneaky and sneak off with your sneakiness. Not even play this game in order to get the victory. I think that's what you're going to do. Huh. Yeah, because the Ace of Wands with the Ace of... Or with the Six of Wands is right there, and I'm going to make seven. So that's how you'd fight back. Just not play it at all or well, try to sneak off. Oh, it's secretly behind all of this. You were getting what you wished for. Um, between, like, this Queen of Wands who doesn't want to be bothered and this Nine of Swords reverse where you really want things to stop, but you, you're kind of putting it on your own head. Like, behind it all, it's what you wished for. Like, almost like somebody asked for this. 
That's the final one for you. Oops. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, being logical, being grounded, and how you're going to come to your decisions of whose head you are going to come off, cut off. Um, yeah, you really want to be the most level-headed when you... It's going to be a Libra, too. Um, but you're trying to be the most level-headed in... Um, I think you really want to make sure that you're like aware of what you're going to do before you do it because you really have no idea because you're surrounded by bear traps <laughs> but group two's turn if you want you can like turn that off so you can listen to yourself play babe Or not. Okay, I'm sorry. I love you. Well, you're just forgetting you're that. Oh no, that'd be rude, and I don't want to be rude. Unless you're playing, and I don't want you to be interrupted. I don't know. I'll leave you, I'll leave you alone. Okay. I know. Or are you trying to say you would like to hear me? No, I was just saying, I didn't know if the music was going to bother you or not. Well, I thought I was supposed to keep it quiet so you're recording or whatever. <clears throat> oh, dear. Okay. This is on as a reference. I can go no louder than this. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, Alright, group two. Let's see what's going on with you. Just reversed. You ain't saying shit. Didn't you guys have this like last time or something? Someone not talking? I, I can't remember now. Strength could be a Leo you're dealing with. Temperance. That's your card. Sagittarius. That's in your fears or rejections. Prince of Pentacles. Capricorn Taurus. We're going the situation. Nine of Wands reversed and fears and rejections. The world as well as the catalyst as well as the final result, the beginning and the end. And then the beginning theme for you, group two, is Queen of Wands. You are in bitch mode. <laughs> so this might be Sagittarius right here, but I'm not sure because it's just like, ah, there she is. Angry, spicy little meatball or whatever the hell. Ah, she might not be in the best of term of relationship wise but she is here high priestess slow offer hmm. I feel like someone's really taking their defenses and like throwing it at their enemies instead of letting the defenses work to defend them like they keep taking, like they keep taking the fence post and just for chucking it at people, which is cool. But it's like you only have so much fence, and there's so many of them. Okay, so you got the high priestess reverse. There are things you know, and things you are not going to say out loud. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, or Taurus, or Virgo. So, and the king of swords upright. I feel like you're, you group two have a lot of things you know, you're just not willing to say them and you're just doing the whole, I'm going to be the backbone for right now. 
but don't you let me fucking catch you or I'll cut your ass. <laughs> Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles traditionally. In the situation where there is a slow moving offer. We don't know what that offer is, but he's definitely making his way on his torch with like tree trunks for feet. Right? Because... Well, he's only got, like, four trunks. I don't know... Well, you know, he's got three trunks. I don't know why the fourth one isn't there. Like, is he gonna walk lopsided? Is that why it's taking so long, actually? Now I'm looking at this. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah! Slow moving offer, and you're... <laughs> not saying anything about it with the High Priestess again. You're keeping it behind her. <laughs> this is fucking weird. Okay, so you like have two earth signs that are both just keeping their mouths shut. They could be the same person. But like you're coming off like you could be possibly coming off as the Queen of Pentacles. But in reality, it's, it's like, like, the, yeah, you're offering something as a queen, but you're possibly, like, coming off a little bit as a knight, where you're taking your time with it, and it's just kind of like, um, you're taking forever. But you're not really saying anything about either. It's like, you're allowing it to, like, take its time in order for it to become the queen, so it's a lot more mature, a lot more whatever. I'm not sure. It's definitely an offer about stability. Do we have like the wants and wishes? Could be a little Leo. You got your pet kitties right next to you, walking on your tiptoes, all happy and such. So. Yeah, you're trying to temperance your own strength so you can come out of whatever's bothering you. Like you don't even do much. Like you're only holding back your strength because, like you know, it's the right thing to do almost. Or you have a Leo that's trying to get out of like a mental situation. Or a Leo is driving you nuts. It could be that too. And you're just trying to get away from that. I don't know yet. It's like, hmm. Then we have the Nine of Wands reverse, which is what's coming against you and your wants and wishes. Putting up a defense for a really shitty offer. <laughs> I don't think it's either of these two, though. I think this is completely different. I think this is a different offer. Like, you're keeping your defenses very much higher in check than what you need to because you feel like you need to be defensive against this offer that I think is no good for you. Like, you aren't taking bullshit. This is fucking weird. Are you trying to command your strength to come out of this? I'm going to throw my shits at this shitty offer. Because you could just get a cannon for that, dude. Like, that would work so much better. <laughs> Let's see. Then we have Temperance up here, which is Sagittarius's card. And the fears and rejections. Afraid if you come together, possibly with this person or in this situation, that there's gonna be a lot of unbalance. Six of Pentacles. Possibly you want the Libra somewhere. Somewhere within this mix, right? There's a feeling of um it's just gonna possibly not equal out the way it should. Like it's supposed to be communicate like it's like communication and stuff, right? Where like just one person's talking and getting everything and the other person's trying to talk, but nobody's really listening. One of those things. I feel like that's what someone's afraid of. It's just like even if you come together, will it really go back to being fair? Or was there even fairness to begin with? Like somebody's definitely really feeling like They need to work on... I feel like someone needs to work on themselves, or they feel like they need to work on themselves before they can even come up for an offer. And I think that's why the High Priestess is here twice. 
Like, you know, he's writing it to go take it off her, but in reality, she's just sitting there holding an offer in her hands. Like, meh, it's here whenever you want it. <laughs> Then we have the world, the beginning and the ending of the scenario, right? Tell me about that. That wasn't my fault. Strength reverse. Leo once again. I feel like you're probably restraining yourself in... Yeah, it's kind of like you are restraining yourself. You're holding the world together with your arms. You're trying to make every, sure everything is bridged completely. And I feel like you're holding yourself back something to make sure that that happens. Or you're just trying to have control about how things end. Which is probably not the healthiest way of going about it. But it's whatever. It's up to you. At least it was nothing, nothing else was reversed. So that's the good thing. Oh, yep, we'll wait for that one. But yeah, two endings for you. And it's kind of like someone doesn't want to make a decision about what not to work on. <laughs> or uh, there, something isn't coming together, so a choice needs to be made, right? And there needs to be communication, first off, with, like, this. Like, if you have an offer, like, offer the offer, or don't. I don't think you're stalling, but it's just kind of like you can't just take your time. It could be with an Aquarius, since that's the, their card, the star. Yeah, there's still some stuff you need to think over for. Blah. Four of Swords reversed. Right? Right. So that's the Vice card. Yeah. The Emperor reversed. Aries. So, the whole thing about, like, kind of somebody wants control and is holding back in order to make sure... We, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to work very well at all. I, I actually think that, like, someone's going to lose control or become very arrogant in their control of this somehow. One of the two, but it's just going to be like... Mm. I think even when you communicate what it is you've had on your brain, it's just not going to work to put the ball in your court. But that's it. So I hope this helps you guys out, and I'll see you later, Sag. Bye.